Hi everybody, I was taking a walk around my house today and I found this really cool reptile that I think you guys are going to love to learn about. This is an eastern box turtle. He's hiding in his shell right now. He's really cool because he's one of the only turtles that can actually tuck his legs and his head into his shell is what you see him doing here right now. I'm going to set him down and see if he'll come out for you guys so that you can see him. So what you see the box turtle doing here is the thing that really makes them pretty unique. So they're actually able to completely close their shell around their body, which is a really great defense mechanism because if they see something that might be a predator, what they're going to do is hide in their shell and retract into that shell until the predator leaves. And the predator then isn't able to get their meal that they're looking for because the turtle's shell is really hard and it'd be like pretty much like eating a rock. So it's not really possible for anything to... Uh, eat them when they're tucked into their shell like this. So it's a really cool defense mechanism that these turtles have. So we can see that the box turtle shell is really crucial to its well-being. And the turtle shell is actually a permanent skeleton, including its ribs and its vertebrae, or its backbone. So it's actually not something that they can crawl out of and find a new one like what you see on the cartoons. So it's looking like it's wanting to poke out of its shell a little bit, so I'm going to go sit over here and give it some space so it doesn't think that I'm a predator. Okay, the turtle has untucked its head and legs from its shell, and it's starting to look around this shallow freshwater pond. And even though box turtles are mainly terrestrial, meaning that they live mostly on land, they still need clean drinking water, just like all other animals. And they also use their environment to regulate their temperature. So they're not like us where we can regulate our temperature internally. They rely on their environment to regulate their temperature and they'll move themselves to areas where it's cooler or hotter to regulate their body temperature. And we as humans are able to regulate our body by sweating and doing other things like that. But reptiles are not able to do that. They have to rely entirely on the environment to regulate their body temperature. So that's why it's really important for them to have access to water and cool areas. Sometimes you might find them um, burying themselves in mud or in dirt or leaves or something like that to regulate their temperature. Or you might find them basking in the sun too to warm up their bodies when they get too cold. And these box turtles are just really cool. All right, well, thanks for learning with us today here, little turtle. And remember, every time we find a creature out in nature, we like to put it back exactly where we found it so that they can carry on on their happy little lives. So I'm going to put it right back here where I found it. And there you go. And remember, every splash begins with one drop. We'll see you next time.